What's going on Aries? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be your reading for the month of May 2024. So in this reading Aries, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you and so much more regarding the rest of May 2024 Aries. So before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very appreciated Aries for taking the time to check this reading out and definitely smash that like button subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates if you have not already double double uh i would also really appreciate that <laughs> so um without further ado i'm gonna pull the energy and we'll see what is coming your way for the rest of may aries as always i would like to thank the angels the interdimensional beings and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Aries. <laughs> if this is the amount of cards that I need for the reading, then you're going to understand why I thank who I thank. And I, I just kind of like feel like it is. Let's see. I do an 11 card spread. So there's one card, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. David Blaine! Okay. Um, wow. So let me just process what we got going on here. Um, it looks like for you, Aries, it's going to be a big month for you here. Um, so before we get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe. And these oracle cards contain the energy that you need more of, the energy that spirit wants you to embody for the rest of May, Aries. So let me show you them, and then we'll talk about it. The first one is the sun, essence and personality. It has to do with your soul and your ego, right? It's all about you and positive, warm, masculine energy here. You might be connecting with the Leo as well. But the sun energy is all about you. Okay, and it, you see that theme here. You also have the conjunction, the fusion of energy. And what does spirit want you to conjunct the sun with is Mars. Drive, power, sexuality. Mars is the way that you get what you want in this life. It's how you go after things. And Mars obviously rules Aries. All right, so spirit's definitely turn, telling you to turn the heat up in your life uh, right now because... There's definitely a big opportunity for you to start something new. And I feel like with this energy that spirit wants you to be in Aries is like, it's definitely go time here. And it's, it's time to put yourself first in some sort of way. And I feel for you that putting yourself first will, you know, it might involve you relating to new people uh, for some of you here. And uh, there's definitely... I feel like you following through with what you know you have to do. Just to skip around a little bit, Aries, your challenge is the Knight of Wands here. And the Knight of Wands is someone who talks shit or like they talk a big game, but they're inconsistent. They don't really back it up here in some sort of way. It can also be someone who is just like a little bit like flighty um, and, and kind of like uh, impulsive, I should say. So although you have the sun and, and Mars is kind of an impulsive energy, um, don't be afraid to be impulsive, but don't overdo it with that Knight of Wands here. So this looks really good for you, actually. Um, it's it, it's um, it looks better than I can express right now. But hold on. So before we get into the Tarot Aries, let's go ahead and, and look at these cards, which contain the energy that you need less of, and the energy in and around you that is secretly holding you back um, in May for the rest of May. And the first one is Karma. Plant positive seeds. And this card, Aries, is all about using karma in a negative way. Okay, so, and I, like, the way that it's standing out to me, Aries, is karma usually has to do with, like, the past catching up to you. And I feel like if there's anyone that you're interacting with strictly because you want to get them back, Spirit's saying that it will be a, a big misuse of their energy, of your energy, and, and vice versa if someone is trying to come at you. Don't even be concerned with it. I don't need to strike back. I let God fight my battles. Okay, so it's like karma in this card, it says an excuse to not take action, a way to deal with an immense desire for revenge. So I do feel, Aries, that someone here in, in or around you may want revenge actually uh, for you. Like someone, someone may want revenge on you. And this could be something 
way back. It could be something more recent, use your intuition. But I feel like Spirit's saying, don't even get caught up in the game. Focus on your focus on your goals and focus on something new here with new people or with people who you know are not going to emphasize that karma, okay, is what I really feel. Now, you also have uh, end of the festival porter potty. Um, <laughs> and this is, you know, this is the energy that you need less of here. And this is the end of the end of a party, basically. And I feel this is an energy for you to let go of like a party or where you think the party is. Um, you know, a lot of you could be rotting away in some sort of environment that you feel is like the place to be in some sort of way. But I feel like something here has definitely, uh, you know, the party's over. So don't be trying to chill in the porter potty, you know. I feel like this is, this says time warp, uh, get lost in time waiting for something you don't want to experience, a destination for inducing bad trips. So like, yeah, this is kind of like fiend energy, you know what I mean? If you do struggle with any sort of addic addictive behaviors, I feel like this card is, is just saying that it's going to be harder for you to, to continue somewhere that you know is just a wasteland. It could even be your own behavior. Then it, then it, then it is to actually go forward in something new, okay? So don't be over, overly concerned with old karma and trying to get back at people or people trying to get back at you and don't be concerned with trying to outstay the party here. The party, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. All right, and the next, the last energy that you need less of or the energy that's getting in your way is life coach. Um, and like, you know, this is a archetype that is floating around the internet a lot here, but it's basically like the coach that, you know, coaches coaches to become coaches. You know what I mean? Like that type of energy. Someone who has an answer uh, for everything um, in some sort of way, like someone who pretends like they have all their stuff together, but really uh, they don't. And it's not actually to hate on life coaches. I feel like, you know, some life coaches are, they really know what they're doing. They have good intentions. Other, other ones don't. Um, but I feel like this is more of an energy, Aries, like this life coach energy is like you are the one that are going to have, that's going to have to take the reins of your own life because the sun energy in Mars is very, Mars is to do with you and you're an Aries. So don't be afraid to focus on you. You could be getting unsolicited advice from people that you think, uh, you know, know what they're talking about in some sort of way. Uh, but it may not be actually founded in reality here with that life coach energy. So um, yeah, I, I, I'd be very careful about like hearing something someone says on a podcast and then, you know, going with it as if it's like a doctrine here. You know what I mean? Because you definitely have to do your own thing. I feel this month you're going to be supercharged with energy. Mars is in your is in Aries right now, and the energy you need more of is Mars. So that that you know makes sense. And this is definitely like a, a little bit of an aggressive energy as well that you need. That spirit's saying that you're going to be in. But I feel like with that Karma card, um, you know, there there could be all your life force energy trying to fix something from the past or trying to worry about someone who wants revenge against you or you want revenge against someone, you know, make sure you, that you really be careful about that, Aries, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Your opportunity for the rest of May is the Two of Swords here, Aries. And the first thing coming to mind is definitely to do with you trying to get back at someone or you or someone trying to get back at you. This is definitely the two of swords is is to not even give it any attention. You know, your opportunity is somehow to to not focus on something that may, you know, cause you to, to go down the wrong path, I feel, with this two of swords here. Okay, now for others of you, the two of swords in your opportunity, I feel like there's an opportunity to not exactly know where life is taking you here. Okay, but to, just to take action and to be a little bit impulsive as long as you can keep it under control because the sun conjunct Mars is very powerful, sharp energy. Um, but I feel like there's something that you're gonna start and you, you have no idea where it's actually leading you type of vibe. So that's pretty cool. But um, your challenge is the Knight of Wands, like I said. So there could be a challenge around you traveling or you taking an impulsive action that later, you know, uh, bites you in the butt, but I feel like you need to be a little bit impulsive. So I just feel like maybe it's saying follow through with your words and you know, something like that. But here we go, like 
in the overall general energy Aries, it actually looks really good for you here. Like some sort of new beginning leads to justice and karma and love. For a lot of you, there's definitely a new relationship coming in for you. Probably towards the end of the month, it will feel like it's taking off more. But um, your overall general energy is the Ace of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Queen of Cups. That's a brilliant energy here, Aries. The Ace of Pentacles is about a new physical beginning. You could be launching something new, you know, as you listen to this around the time of the Taurus new moon. You know, great, you know, there's definitely this overall general energy of you doing something new in the physical world. The Justice card here is once again, interestingly, about karma here, you know, and it's about restoring balance to the realm of thought. And it's also about law and order, you know what I mean, in some sort of way. So with this being here, I feel like um, some sort of new action will actually help you move away from negative karma in the past in a, posi in a positive way. Because, and then you have the Queen of Cups here, which is about unconditional love. This could be your own energy out there for a lot of you. I feel like there is a relationship that you're going to send someone unconditional love or vice versa this month. It's going to bring justice to your life. But now that I look at it, um, there seems to be either you moving in the direction of, your, of, of the future and focusing on you with all this energy that's going to be at your disposal or... For a lot, you know, there's a danger here that you could really get sucked into past karma. And for some of you, this is the the overall general energy. You have free will how you want to play that energy. And and some of you may have the experience of like a false start going back into the past. So I would really, I would really advise you, Aries, if you're single and you're looking for love, to focus on new relationships, new business partnerships. You know, there's something about new energy with the ace of, you know, there's something about a new beginning that's gonna bring you justice and, and it will balance out your mind here, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you have been getting sucked into potential games with people um, that you it, it's not worth your time anymore. You gotta focus on you, Mars, okay? And you do have to be aggressive here, so maybe there's some, if there is something, like for some of you Aries that are a little bit more troublesome, uh, it's like maybe you need to like hiss at someone but not actually do anything uh you know it's situational it's just i'm just take what resonates leave what doesn't um but okay so this new beginning though the negative side of it is that it's going to bring up a lot of unprocessed emotions i i feel here aries uh or it's just going to be a hard break from your past in what you don't see coming it is very powerful but you have the fool the five of cups and also the moon so this is a new beginning here and the the Moon has to do with feminine energy, unknown. It's like intuition here. But the Five of Cups is the centerpiece to this reading, which has to do with sadness here and letting go of a, a really, you know, it's about emotional change is really what it is. This, the um, Suit of Cups has to do with emotions and the number five has to do with change. I like to think of the number five as the human number. You know, it's like we have like four limbs and a head we look like a starfish it's like the number five so your chat you know and what you don't see coming there's definitely like you moving forward like into the spiritual unknown with a fresh start but as you do that i really feel like there's going to be um you know maybe it's like a lot of your worst expectations are going to come here uh or are going to come about i feel um and you know with your opportunity being the two of swords here, for many of you, it's really about controlling your focus and only focusing on what you want here in some sort of way, I feel, Aries, okay? Um, that's what I feel here because it's like you could easily lose track and put all of this drive and this and your ego into the wrong thing, okay? But it's all about the new beginning here for you. And I feel like there's a lot of quality friendship and people you know, potentially that you can make money with here in some sort of way. In your advice, you have the sun. The energy you need more of is the sun, and then you have the advice is the sun. That's definitely to, to get clear on a decision that you want to make and then ice everything out, I kind of feel. But once again, a lot of Aries who don't watch this reading are going to do that. I'm going to become, I'm getting so clear that I'm going to bring justice and karma to this person who wronged me. You don't need to strike back. You let God fight your battles. 
So um, you also have the Queen of Pentacles, which is to do with abundance here, something going on in the earthy realm. There could be business partnerships coming in. Then you have the Three of Cups, which is about a celebration, positive social interaction, and uh, having a good time here. So, um, you know, there's definitely, I feel like it's going to be an up, an upbeat, positive month here, but it's important that you don't um, kind of misdirect that energy is what I really feel. So, um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. Um, the first card that I want to clarify is why the uh, justice card is here in your overall general energy. The fool. Once, yeah, this is definitely something to do with positive karma will either come to bless you if you can move in a new direction, start a new project, start new relationships. Um, and it's going to feel very, maybe a little bit nerve wracking, but you got this. Yeah, it's an upgraded here. You have three major arcana cards. The justice card is clarified by the fool and the world. You know what's interesting is this is the first major arcana card. This is the last one. So things are really coming full circle for you now. Um, and that's why, Aries, this card, the energy that you need less of, some of you didn't take this card seriously because you can't see it clearly. But, you know, a lot of you here, it's like if you misdirect your energy in May to focus on situations that, that, that are done, you know, no one's at this party anymore. You are smoking crack with the person in the bathroom thinking that you're going to have a good time. So, so you think you're above that, but you're really not because um, just apply it to whatever situation. Where are you hanging around that's not good for you anymore? It's not going to work anymore. It's, it's, it's decaying, okay? I also want to clarify uh, the Queen of Cups for you. Why is the Queen of Cups here in your overall general energy. Two of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Hermit. So um, yeah, I feel like what this, this whole karma thing could be about is that you have mixed, you know, there's, there's definitely a situation that you feel is up in the air. You know, there could be someone from your past that I feel Aries has really strong emotions for you, even if they try to act like they don't care. Like, even if they try to act like, oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, the Hermit here is all about deep contemplation and reflection. So um, with the Queen of Cups, you know, there may be something, a, a love situation developing, I feel, for you that's kind of like, it's it seems up in the air, but it's happening, is what I feel uh, for a lot of you. But for many of you, there also may be someone from your past that still has emotions from, for you or you for them. But if you know it's toxic and you, you know it's the porter potty, I see it closing out here. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I also want to clarify why the Two of Swords is in your opportunity. The Eight of... Okay. Yeah, this is about not trying to... Look, okay, the Two of Swords here, Aries, um, is clarified by the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles here. The first thing intuitively is like, there could be, um, you know, something that someone wanna, wants to work out with you that is really just going to lead to more anxiety. I, I feel like it, it might be to block someone. Like this literally, like your opportunity might literally just to be to block someone from your past that you know does not have good intentions for you or, or to not pay attention to someone who, who doesn't have good intentions for you. You also have the hanged man here, which is about a moment of uh, temporary enlightenment, or it's like someone, it's like a moment of realization coming to someone. So I feel like there's a big realization in your opportunity that, you know, something that you may be trying to work on is just going to lead to pain. Okay, something that you're, you've been trying to work on is just going to lead to pain. For many of you, this actually has to do with the life coach thing, is what I'm getting now, Aries. This has to do with the life coach thing, where <laughs> you might be getting like advice from people who, um, you know, to, like they don't know what it will actually take for you to be successful in the area that you want to be successful in. And like, there's a reason why, I, and just just honest. There's a reason why I've been very hesitant to um, create like 
to teach people how to do tarot because um, you know there is no one f shoe fits all or there's a reason why I don't try to like help people help people you know what I mean because the actual factors that drive success in any field usually are different than the advice that you get that will drive success in any field. Is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's something here about you surrendering advice that you've been trying to implement from some sort of life coach that is that hasn't been working for you. And the sun conjunct Mars is like, you, it's your way or the highway. You need to focus on you. You need to do it your own way. Um, but for some of you, that's definitely about not paying attention to someone who really has bad intentions towards you and not getting caught up in that game. You know what I mean? You know, there could be people who are guilt tripping at you or I don't even know, you know what I mean? Some weird thing like that. Um, I feel like it's more just like as you move forward, don't, uh, yeah, don't like, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Um, I wanna clarify why the moon is here. Why is the, the moon is clarified by the three of pentacles and the page of cups here. So I feel like there's definitely a new collaboration in your work life coming in and what you don't see coming. This could be something idealistic that you've always wanted to do. I feel like the page of cups is a dreamy energy. It's someone who's very like gullible. And um, I feel like there's, there's definitely an excitement here with uh, a new uh, thing that you're learning here. Um, and the moon here, that's interesting as well. Like in what you don't see coming for some of you, this could very well be about that Porter potty karma life or like the life coach thing where you're starting to see someone that you once collaborated with as immature and you're not sure if it's going to lead you in the right direction, I feel. So, um, yeah, it's definitely time to go after what you want to go after in your own way. Start something new. And I feel like there's just a lot of people that you're attached to, you know, the karma life coach that maybe don't agree with it or something. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead, go ahead and clarify why the sun is in your advice. Why is the sun in your advice? Wow. Conjunction. This, the sun is clarified by the moon, the six of wands and the knight of swords. Yeah. Aries. There's definitely here a lot of energy, a lot of energy that's going to lead to your success and fast. You know, there's definitely a lot of fast action that Spirit's advising you to take. Like, if someone had the Sun conjunct Mars in their birth chart, they'd, they'd probably be pretty fast, a fast individual. So, sorry for not saying that. It's almost like if you can come to a decision quickly, that's the thing that's going to help you here. Because the thing in your overall general energy as well is, like, a lot of you here are going to get caught up in other people's emotions. You know what I mean? I, I, I feel like you're going to get caught up in other people's emotions and, like... I mean, that even happened to me, like, the other day, like, a lot of you may have saw I posted, you know, some music, and, like, I was, like, listening to it in my car, like, right before I posted, and I was, like, this is tight, and then I was thinking, like, well, I was, like, viewing it through other people's eyes, and I was, like, damn, <laughs> and so I feel like that's part of your problem, you know, it could, it could be really hard for you to put yourself first, even though you're an Aries, uh, in some sort of way, but I feel like once again, the thing is, is to put yourself first in the right way, because a lot of you are going to get caught up in this karma thing. Oh, someone wants to get revenge on me, so I'm going to focus on it, because that's obviously a pretty big thing if someone wants to do that to you, or I want to get revenge on someone, or I'm going to fix this karmic situation from my past. I really feel like Spirit is saying, you know, uh, with that justice card clarified by the world and the fool, Man, it is a complete new spiritual beginning for you, Aries. So uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you next time.